Can you take over the chair there for a few minutes? Yes. Please. Jim has been, uh, just in case you don't know, uh, also appointed vice chair. It's been moved by Councillor Irving. Thank you. I'll second. Seconder. And uh, seconded by Councillor Davison that we uh, call the RCMP and bring them in uh, and investigate uh, the affairs of uh, financial affairs of the village, municipality and village of Murray Harbor and report back to us and uh, investigate and do an audit of all everything that's involved in this uh, in this whole building here, this office. And uh, officially, when they arrive in here, they'll be given the keys to our uh, chambers and offices. And we will move from there on what our next move will be. Uh, we are meeting with Samantha Murphy next Wednesday night. Uh, Can that you will, confirm that? That will still, the, I've talked to her just okay. before I got here tonight. Samantha Murphy is the manager of uh, Municipal Affairs for PEI. And we'll meet with her and we'll get direction from her how we proceed. Miscommunication. She's been waiting for that. She deserves that. And if she didn't deserve it, you should have seen to it. You are no better than Sylvan was. Sylvan, she asked Sylvan multiple times. Sylvan wouldn't give her the information she needed. Why? I mean, if we're going to build a good community here, we have to have truth in this. I know we're all volunteers, there's no money making, but we have to, you can't stand on that fence and say one thing and say another. As in, we had keys for councillors made up, as I believe that councillors should be able to come here and talk to their constituents. And the CAO will be escorted out of here by the RCMG. Uh, if it's safety reasons, whatever, and the RCMG will be taking all the keys, this place will be locked down. 